first step of this wash day routine is pre-pooing. I don't always pre-poo my hair before washing. Um, I only pre-poo my hair when it's very, very tangled and dry. So this is a seven day old wash and go, right? And my hair is so tangled, it's not even funny, you guys. <laughs> so I section off my hair in medium sized sections. And then I like to spray my hair with some water just to make it damp. Then I take my extra virgin olive oil in an applicator bottle and then I just pour that all over my hair. Um, this is a messy process, so I have an old towel on my lap and I'm wearing a t-shirt that I don't care about because the oil is going to drip, okay? Then I take my white tooth comb and I detangle my hair carefully. Because of the oil, I really have enough slip to detangle my hair very well. I'm telling you guys, oil works wonders if you want to detangle your hair. So I start at the bottom and I work my way up to the roots. Um, I also run my finger through my hair sometimes to release all the shed hairs because there are a lot, okay? So whenever I'm done with a section, I just twist that up and repeat the same steps for all the sections. So, like I said, I don't pre-poo all the time, I only pre-poo my hair when it's too tangled for words. Uh, Pre-pooing really cuts the time in half in the shower because you're detangling your hair and removing all the shed hairs during this process so you don't have to do this in the shower anymore, which will save you a lot of time. Like this process took me about 30 to 40 minutes, so imagine if I had to do this in the shower, but naked. Mm -mm. <laughs> also, when your hair is wet, your hair is at its weakest state and can break off very easily. So if you have really stubborn knots and you don't detangle carefully, you have the chance to just rip off your hair and you don't want that, okay? So I'm all done now um, and this is my shed hair. I know it's a lot but it's normal, okay, because I have a lot of hair. And I don't sit underneath the dryer, I just leave this in for about 10 minutes and then I just hop into the shower. Once I'm in the shower, I remove my twists and rinse out the oil. And while rinsing out the oil, I slightly finger detangle or run my fingers through my hair to remove any shed hair that I didn't catch the first time. To cleanse my hair and scalp, um, I'm using this shampoo from Garnier and this line has like a different name in every damn country, okay? But this is a sulfate shampoo and I like to use a sulfate shampoo whenever I have tons of product buildup, which I have now. And mind you, I just did a pre-poo with a heavy oil, so I would like to get rid of that ASAP, okay? So I just put the shampoo all over my hair, not just my scalp only. Um, and I really like to take the time to clarify my scalp and hair. I just work that in very well. And by the way, on days that I just want to wash my hair but I don't have a lot of product buildup, I use a sulfate free shampoo for a more gentle cleanse. After shampooing, you know what time it is, it is deep conditioned time. And for a change, I deep conditioned with Cream of Nature Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Treatment. I used this conditioner in the past and it was my holy grail but I just stopped using it for no reason. And when I applied it on my hair, I remembered why it was my holy grail you guys. This conditioner smells so good and it has so much slip. Sorry, I just had to clap with this one. <laughs> Not even kidding you guys, I just felt instant moisture. And this conditioner is apparently also a deep conditioner, says on the bottle, so why not try it out? Um, I have a whole deep conditioning routine on my channel, so check that out if you want to know in detail how I deep condition. I just let that sit for a while and this is the shedding I collected from the whole shower. So after doing my shower routine and stuff, I rinse out the deep conditioner out and my hair is life right now. It is so freaking soft and moisturized and fluffy and bouncy 
and I actually made the right choice to deep condition with this cream of nature treatment. After my shower, I decided to air dry my hair and I didn't apply any product on my hair for once. I know, that's new. I always do the LCO method to moisturize my hair, but this time I was just like, let the fro breathe and live for a moment, okay? And by the way, I wanted to show you guys this. Look at how versatile natural hair can be multiple textures. I have loose waves on the crown of my head and tight curls around my edges. Does anyone else has this? Like, let me know in the comment section. Well, that was my wash day routine for dry and tangled hair. I hope you liked this video and I hope you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!